Hi, I'm Luca Congedo and you're watching from JS Remote Sensing. I'm very glad to present you the new version 8 of the same automatic classification plugin for QJS. This new version integrates a new Python library, Remote Your Census, which allows for the pre-processing, band processing and post-processing of remote sensing images. This allows, of course, to use the same automatic classification plugin, but also to create Python scripts for the processing of raster images. So let's have a look to the tools of the same automatic classification plugin. The interface. We have the SCP doc and the SCP menu here where we can uh, access all the plugin functions from the download of products to the basic tools to the preprocessing, band processing and post-processing tools and of course also the band calc and we have also the training input doc here where we are going to create a region of interest using the working toolbar here and of course the main interface that can be accessed here for creating, for instance, the band sets. Band sets. From the main interface, we can create band sets, which allow to load uh, raster bands. Here we can see the band set definition. We can create multiple band sets. We can open raster bands also without loading uh, them in QJS. So we can select uh, the raster files. As we can see here, the bands are loaded. We can also quickly enter the center wavelength here from the wavelength settings, selecting, for instance, the satellite uh, of the bands. We can also set uh, a date for the acquisition, and this will allow for multi-temporal analysis here. And also we have this table, the bandset table that allows to manage bandsets, multiple bandsets. We can create new bandsets. As you can see with this button, we added new bandsets here. Select this bandset from this menu. And also with a double click here. And we have these tools also for uh, removing uh, bandsets. The SCP doc. From the SCP doc, we can access the training input uh, so we can open or create a new training input file which we are going to use to store the region of interest. Here, the training input is uh, related to a bandset with the characteristics of the bandset, such as the number of bands. We can, for instance, create a new training input here. And once we have created the training input, we can create new region of interest using the working toolbar. From the working toolbar, we can select a RGB color composite, for instance, and display a color composite of the virtual bandset. Then we can use this button to create uh, uh, a polygon that we can later save in the training input. We can also use uh, all these tools to manage the region of interest and also import and export the signatures. We also have uh, Roy options here. For instance, this option to display the NDVI value of the pixel and also other options for the region of interest creation. And then we can use this button to save the polygon to the training input. We can also use this button here to undo or redo the creation of uh, polygons. Download products. From the interface of the download products, we have uh, the options, several options. In particular, we can select Copernicus Sentinel-2 and harmonize Landsat and Sentinel. We have several options. We can define an area of interest uh, using this button. And then we can click Find to search available images. 
and as you can see here in the results we have the product list and we can display also a preview of the products then we can select uh, the bands to download and uh, we can click run to download products also this tool is linked to the preprocessing basic tools The basic tools are useful to uh, manage the training input and uh, also the band sets. In particular, we can export the training input to several formats and also import signature files, for instance, from a training input file or uh, spectral libraries. And we can also import uh, vectors uh, from shape files or geopackages. And we can also import uh, spectral libraries using the USGS spectral library. And all these signatures are imported in the training input here in the array and signature list. We can also create multiple region of interest with this tool based on coordinates. Here in the RGB composite, we can manage uh, the composites related to the band sets. And in the signature threshold here, we can manage thresholds related to the uh, classification algorithms. Clip raster bands. Here in the preprocessing, we have the tool clip raster bands, where we can select uh, uh, an input band set here, and we can define uh, the coordinates, for instance, for uh, clipping the, all the bands in the band set or use a vector for clipping, uh, also uh, with the option to select a vector field, or use a temporary region of interest. Here, for instance, we can define the coordinates using this button here in the map. And once we have defined the coordinates, we can click Run, and the results are the clipped bands. Image conversion. Here we have the image conversion tool. We have a unified interface that allows to convert uh, images from the compatible satellites that for the moment are Sentinel-2 and Landsat images for the conversion to reflectance. So here we select, for instance, a directory containing Sentinel-2 bands. And as you can see here, the table is populated with the Sentinel-2 bands. And then we can click Run to compute the conversion. Masking bands. We can use this tool to mask an input band set, all the bands in the band set, using a classification as reference here, and selecting specific values from the reference classification, for instance here, the value 1, and we can also set a buffer size. Mosaic band sets. Here we have created two band sets, as you can see, the band set 1 and band set 2, that have the same number of bands, and as you can see here, they cover different portion of area. Here. And we can use the mosaic tool to uh, basically uh, mosaic each pair of band. And as you can see here is the mosaic of each pair of band. Reproject raster bands. From this tool, we can perform several kind of uh, reprojections and resampling of uh, bands in the band set. Here, for instance, we can uh, define an FPSG code and perform the reprojecting, but we also have other options. Split raster bands. With this tool, we can basically uh, split uh, a multiband raster, such as here in this example, to single band rasters. Stack raster bands. Using this tool, we can basically uh, convert uh, single bands from a band set to a multi band raster here. So 
as you can see here from the symbology, a multiband raster. Vector to raster. From this tool we can convert a vector uh, based on the field uh, to a raster file using also a reference raster for alignment. And as you can see the output is the raster from the vector. Classification. This is the classification tool where we can uh, select an input band set and use the training input so all the region of interest saved in the training input to use any of these algorithm so the maximum likelihood minimum distance multilayer perceptron that you can see here as the option of scikit-learn and pytorch the random forest spectral angle mapping and a subtle vector machine of course we can also save the classifier click run to perform the classification and of course this will be described in specific tutorials and after a while we have the result of the classification combination the combination tool allows to uh, calculate uh, all the combination between uh, pixel values between uh, uh, two or more uh, classification rasters so for instance here we have a band set defined with these two classifications and we click run and we have a new raster the combination raster where each value corresponds to a combination of values in the input rasters deletion the tool deletion allows for uh, calculating uh, a buffer around the pixel values for instance here the value 1 and the result is a new raster for each band of the input band set as you can see here erosion erosion is basically the opposite of deletion so we are going to remove uh, the pixels the border pixels around class values here and the result of course is a band for each band in the input band set see this tool allows to remove uh, isolated pixels uh, using a size threshold and the result is a new band for each band in the input band set neighbor this tool allows to uh, select an input band set and define a distance a neighbor distance in pixels and we uh, can calculate uh, several statistics uh, inside a moving window such as uh, max minimum uh, the mean and other statistical functions and the result is a band for each uh, input band in the band set as you can see here principal component analysis using this tool we can calculate the principal components of an input band set for instance here uh, this is defined with sentinel2 bands and we can calculate the principal components in the output are of course the principal components one raster for each principal component and we can also see here all the statistics related to the principal components and the agent values accuracy here we can perform the accuracy assessment uh, comparing a classification raster to a reference vector or raster so for instance here we can select a geometry vector and calculate the error matrix here classification report using this tool we can calculate the report of a classification so the sum of pixel for each class as well as the percentage and the area classification to vector 
With this tool, we can basically convert a classification raster to a vector file. Cross classification. With this tool, which is similar to band combination, we can compare two classification rasters and calculate uh, all the combination between the pixel values. So the result is a new raster where each value corresponds to a combination of values in reference and the classification. Reclassification. With this tool, we can select a classification and reclassify the values according to, for instance, the unique values or incremental new values. And of course, we can uh, edit and we can enter a new value for each uh, old value. And the result, of course, is a new raster with the new values. Band calc. With this tool, we can perform band calculation using uh, band set variables and also uh, raster loaded in QJS. We can enter an expression here using several functions from mathematical to also expressions, such as the calculation of the NDVI. We also have several output options, such as the extent of the raster. And the output, of course, is the calculation. Script. With the integration of remote sensors, it is now possible to use uh, several tools Clicking uh, in the script button and automatically the code is copied to the script tab and we can uh, add also other commands that are updated according to the uh, options that we have selected and then we can save uh, the, the script to a Python file to run it for instance in the QJS Python console we can, for instance, uh, open the Python code that we have saved here. So this is uh, useful for creating automatic scripts. QJS Processing Toolbox. This is a new addition, uh, in particular we can access from the processing toolbox uh, uh, the semi-automatic classification plugin tools. Here, as you can see, the list of the available tools directly from the QGIS processing toolbox. So we can use uh, these tools, for instance, in models and perform automatically processes. So this was a brief overview of the tools of the semi-automatic classification plugin version 8. Of course, there will be several tutorials for the specific topics in the future. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.